Hey, Scott, so you've been doing comedy around town, or what's your deal? Comedian Curtis Matthews has been teaching stand-up comedy for two decades. A big part of his job is getting students out of their normal way of thinking. People are learning how to think funny as opposed to being logical. All those things that may have helped a person get into college and uh, succeed in business aren't necessarily helpful when it comes to comedy because we, we tend to laugh at the wrong answer or the weird answer. Turns out there's a similar challenge for computer scientists and linguists when it comes to programming robots. Okay, Siri, tell me a joke. Does anyone want to buy my old vacuum cleaner? It's just gathering dust. Siri may know how to tell a joke, but understanding humor is still a tall order. Even as artificial intelligence gets better and computers take on more complicated tasks. Humor is very subtle. It requires a lot of understanding of like human social rules and context. Even when we travel to a different country, like being able to get into the, the mind of the culture we're in is, is pretty difficult. Have you heard the one about a young monk? Oregon State University's Heather Knight created the comedy performing robot Ginger to help her design machines that better interact with humans. I think that people are much better at figuring out what's funny than robots. So one of the things that I'm trying to do is um, get lots of different audiences in, um, in the same room for a show, like a sequence of shows, and actually see what people find is funny. Post this on Twitter. <laughs> While humor and AI is a growing field for academics, comedians like Matthews aren't too worried about being out of work. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. I'm not worried that a, a robot will take my job as a comedian because uh, my comedy is as personal as my thumbprint. You could get AI to repeat the jokes that I write and the, or the things that I feel, but you could never get AI to become me. You just can't. So, you know, because of the, my experience as a human being. An experience a robot will never have or appreciate. That must have been hilarious. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Francisco. That's how you do crowd work, kids. <laughs> anyway.